our dam that you are seeing from the bedrock to the height is 185 meters above sea level. Okay. And then the maximum operating level is 183. Okay. We generate <laughs> Greco tran transmit mm -hmm. and then ECG distribute. Hello and welcome to BizTech on Ghana Web TV. My name is Ernestina Sewa Asante. We've traveled all the way from Accra to the hydroelectric dam located in the Bono region. And we are here with the engineer on duty at the control room, Oliver Kote Nikwe, and he's going to tell us how they operate here. You're welcome on the show. Yeah, thank you. Um, my name is Oliver Kote Nikwe once okay. again. And this is the hydroelectric power generation station. Mm. We, have, we have about four units here. Mm. At the moment, we are running one unit. Okay. At the rated, uh, rated power capacity of 100 megawatts. Mm. Uh -huh. And um, our total capacity in terms of MVA is uh, one is 148 megawatt. Mm. Then the rated power is 133.3. Okay. So the, the three uh, units will give you one uh, 400 megawatt mm -hmm. plus a mini plant. That one is uh, four megawatt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What we do here is that um, we generate the power and then we dispatch the power through four transmission line. Okay. The four transmission line we have Bui to Solar, Bui to Kintampo, and then Bui to Techiman and Bui to uh, Sunyani. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then the, the architecture that you are seeing here is the switchyard, mm. where we display the power through. So you can see from here, from here, this for unit unit three, okay. and then to solar, and then unit two here to Kintampo, and then unit one here for Techima, and then here to Sunyani. Mm. Or you can see standstill generating. What does it yeah, mean? Yes, standstill. It means that we are not running that one at the moment. Okay. The red one that you are seeing means uh, it's in service right now at the moment. We are still we are generating at, at a capacity of 100 megawatt. So we have set it to 100 megawatt, but the real value is 99. Okay. You get my point. Uh -huh. yes. We also normally we also uh, generate reactive power to boost the system voltage. Sometimes when there is no water, uh, we always correlate with a um, system control center at Tema. And then they determine which unit should come online at, a, at any particular time. So sometimes they will call us, and then if there is a need for us to generate a reactive power, mm -hmm. we, have, um, we have our seven compressors down there, elevation 91.5. We we start that one to inject um, uh, 6.5 megapascal air onto the runner chamber okay. to suppress the water. Mm. And then we, uh, we close the wicker gate and then the, the turbine rotates in the air. Then we generate the reactive power. It looks like your work is so technical. But yeah. then how do we get electricity? A quick shot, like a short process on how uh -huh. generate the, it. the electricity, mm. this is how it happens. If you look at here, this is the main dam. Okay. Then you see this uh, orange um, stuff over there. Yeah. Water flow through it. There are some big gates behind the dam. Those ones are open. Mm. So the water flow through it, it will hit the turbine at a certain angle. Okay. Then once it rotates the turbines, where there is a shaft connected to the turbines, and then the, the, the runner. Uh, the roto, mm -hmm. you understand? The generator is made of roto and then the stator. You get my point? Yeah. So it will rotate. So as you rotate, then at a certain speed, let's say 95 speed of the rotation of the roto, a DC is injected onto the uh, roto post. We have something we call roto post. Mm -hmm. Then the flux is created. So as the flux is created, the roto cuts the magnetic flux that is created. Mm. Then it is induced onto the stator. We call that one in, a, in, in electrical engineering, electromagnetic, um, Faraday's laws of electromagnetism. Okay. You understand? It injects into the roto, then it goes to the transformer. 
So at the generator end, we have 14.4 kV volt that is created. You understand? Then it goes to a transformer. It is stepped up to 161. Then it goes to the system. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So when you get to the system, Greco, when you get to Greco, then ECG2, the Greco will bring it down. The ECG will buy. The ECG will give you to you guys. I hope you are getting it. Visit www.ghanawebexcellenceawards.com and click nominations bar or click the nominations banner on www.ghanaweb.com. Provide your personal details by entering your first and last names. Fill in your contact details, that is phone number and email address. Select the appropriate category out of 17 options for your nominee. Provide the personal details of your nominee. Provide at least one or more social handles of your nominee. Tell us why she qualifies for the selected category and then proceed. You receive a pop-up with, would you like to make another nomination? If yes, click yes and go through the same process of nominating another woman. If no, click no and you are done nominating your nominee. Everyone needs the perfect snack to munch on during a fun moment. Wow. Enjoy the tasty McBerry Twist Cupcakes, wow. deliciously baked and packaged for a sweet treat. Mm. Premium quality cakes baked with love for all, enriched in butter and milk. Mm, yummy. Oh, McBerry Twist Cupcakes. Simply irresistible. Try one today. This advert is FDA approved. Yes, uh -huh. I'm trying to follow the process uh -huh. very well. So we generate, uh -huh. Greco, Greco. Tra transmit, mm -hmm. and then ECG distribute. Mm. You, you get my point? Uh -huh. yes. So that is it. Okay, first, how much power do you contribute to the national grid? Um, 404 mm. megawatt. That is for the hydro. But when it comes to the solar, we, we also give our, for, at the moment, we give our 50 um, uh, uh, megawatt peak. Uh -huh. So that is, but the solar is ongoing. It's, it's, it's a process. We are doing our, we are trying to install about 250 megawatt peak mm. uh -huh, solar. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've been to the solar, solar okay. we went to the solar, um, floating solar panels, mm -hmm. we went to the solar on land, and we've seen the work that they are doing. But then, should the IPPs redraw their services, can you supply energy to the country? Yeah, we can supply, but, um, you know, in, when you go to Greco, you will mm -hmm. see that in, in Greco, in Greco settings, the whole world of Accra takes power about 400 megawatts. Mm -hmm. So, virtually, the power produced here, you can say that we can produce that power to Accra. I really? Hope, yes. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. Yes. But, our location here, you see, it is, it's a, we are transmitting the power at a very high voltage, mm -hmm. you understand? And then just to reduce the losses on the line. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Okay. Uh -huh. So all, all the generation stations generate onto um, a grid system that we call it a ring. It's a ring system. Mm -hmm. that is, 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 you can see it over there. Yeah. So everybody generates by it. It is determined by uh, Greco. Greco, they will call you the generation station when you should come in and when you should shut down. Mm. So you, you have no control. You, you, your own is just to, just to come and monitor the equipment and make sure the equipment is running well. Mm. And then you do your planning and stuff when maintenance is supposed to be done and stuff. Uh -huh. I'm sure our viewers will be wondering, why don't you keep some of the water in store than to spill it for it to affect other lives? No, the, 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 mm -hmm. the spilling comes inside when we have more than necessary. Mm. You understand? Our, our dam that you are seeing from the bedrock to the height is 185 meters above sea level. Okay. And then the maximum operating level is 183. Mm. That is at full capacity. You get my point? Mm. Uh -huh. The minimum level is 168 uh, meters above sea level. Okay. So when we are around that area, um, you can you can only use that level for maintenance purposes. You get it. Uh -huh. So you cannot run it. You cannot run the unit. But maybe there is a maintenance, and you need to test 
your equipment. So you use that one. But when it is more than that, above 183, then we need to spill just to avoid the dam from collapsing. Okay. Uh -huh. So we have about five spillway gates here that we open to allow the water to flow. Uh -huh. So that's the thing. So it does not mean that like um, we spill, we, we, we just spill, no. We still when the need arises. Mm. Mm -hmm. Talking of maintenance, how often do you maintain the dam? Yeah, we have quarterly maintenance. Okay. For the equipment, we have quarterly maintenance. Mm. We have annual maintenance. Mm. Do uh, routine checks too. Yeah, we, we sure. do. We do all those things. Yes. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much, Kote. Sh should I say Nikote? Uh, you can. You can <laughs> say <laughs> Nikote and Nikwe for joining us on today's edition of Vistek on Ghana Web TV. My name is Ernestina Sewa Asante. Thank you.